all these movements should not be painful at all. So if you start to notice pain, that's when we want you to stop them, okay? If the shoulders straight down, we should be nice and boxed off there. Then we'll Hey guys, Dr. Mike here, Oakbrook Medical Group in Oakbrook, Illinois, and today I want to go through a video with you guys showing you the top three exercises you can do to help prevent low back pain. So all of these exercises we do with our patients every day here in the office. Um, they're great for any type of disc issues you may be having, increasing range of motion in that low back, and then even if you're having the sciatica type pain, with the pain running down the leg, these exercises are going to help with that as well. So let's walk through these. We're going to show you nice and easy here so you can actually start doing these at home if you start to notice this pain or you want to prevent the pain from ever coming on. So we got Stephanie laying down here on the table. One of the first ones we're going to start with is what's called curl-ups. Okay, so all we're going to do for curl-ups is we're going to bend one leg and keep one leg straight. We're going to take the hands, place them underneath that small of the back, and that's just more for your own perception because what I want to happen is Stephanie's going to go into a pelvic tilt here, taking the spine, pushing it down into that table, and then we're going to do a little curl up, just picking up the head and shoulder blades off the table while she's firing here. Good. And then back down. Relax. And then coming up again. Perfect. So what this doing is as she goes into that pelvic tilt, we're really starting to fire those internal abdominals, the muscles that are deep right around that spinal cord and um, the low back trying to protect it there. So we're doing about a couple of those and then we're always going to switch legs. So if you guys end up doing 10 on this side, make sure you're doing 10 on the other side as well. And you can do this one of two ways. You can hold that pelvic tilt the entire time. It's going to be harder, right? But we're really going to engage those muscles. Or you can do one and then relax the pelvic tilt and then come back to it and then fire and engage again. Perfect. Big things I don't want you to do here is make sure that you're not just pulling that neck up, right? So if you're going to do it poorly, just lift with that neck, Stephanie, and show really straining. You can see she started shaking there, so we want to protect that neck, and we're actually going to end up lifting from the shoulders. Good. So the next one we're going to do is called press-ups. So we're going to have you go and flip over. And this one you can do multiple ways. One of the biggest things we want you guys to do is make sure you're laying flat. Try to get the legs and the toes to hang off the table there, just because we don't want you to engage the glutes, hamstrings, calves, anything like that. We want all the work coming right here from this low back. So you can see Stephanie's arm, she's in a W shape. So we're going to show you the beginner and then show you how you can progress to it, right? So if we keep the arms there, you're going to go ahead and press up, firing right here into the low back, hold for a second two and drop. Perfect. And then coming back up again. And this, all these movements should not be painful at all. So if you start to notice pain, that's when we want you to stop them, okay? Now, as things get better, pain goes away, or you just have a better range of motion, what we're going to have you do is actually you can push up even further so that the elbows and everything come off the table. So go ahead and drive up for me. Good. And then can we get up a little bit higher with that too? You can move the hands out if you need to. So then we'll go hands here. Good. And now press up more. So almost like a cobra for yoga. Yeah, there you go. Good. And then down one more with that. Again, same thing, squeezing through here. Perfect. So again, that's just going to isolate that low back right there. And then you'll even see some people that have really good range of motion. They'll come all the way up, almost like they're in a full-blown push-up. That's going to be different for everybody. Always start nice and low first and work your way up. Okay? Good work, Stephanie. All right, now we're coming over here to Miss Liz. One of the other big ones that we do with all the patients is what's called cat-cow. All right, so some cat-cow, cat-camels, however you want to phrase them there. But this whole purpose is we're going to increase range of motion throughout this thoracic spine and that lumbar spine. So the way we want you to set this up, knees are directly underneath the hips. Everything's perfectly straight, right? Arms are directly underneath the shoulders, straight down. We should be nice and boxed off there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start by dropping the belly button down to the table. Good. And then she went the other way. That's okay, though. Down to the table, looking up, good, and then coming back up with that low back and looking down. So as you can see, the hips actually start to rotate. Belly button comes to the table, and then belly button comes up as much as you can. Make sure that head follows. Now, if you want to get really specific with these things, you've seen, you can see uh, videos on YouTube and stuff. People actually take and try to go vertebrae by vertebrae. Always take this nice and slow. The biggest thing we want to do is get biggest range of motion as we can. All right? Thanks, Liz. All right, and now we're going to come back over here to Miss Stephanie. So this is one of the 
this is more of a flossing thing, right? So if you're already experiencing that sciatica type pain or some low back pain shooting down the legs, this is what's called nerve flossing. So this is specifically for that sciatic nerve. What you're going to do is sit on a high table, sitting up nice and tall and straight. Good posture always with what we're doing these for. And now we're going to end up doing it on both legs because even if the pain is just on the right, we want to make sure we're moving that nerve in both directions. So what Stephanie's going to do is she's going to kick her right foot up and look up at the same time. So think about your eyes and your toes following each other. So as that foot goes down, the head comes down with it. And then kick back up, look up, and then back down, look there. So what that's doing is where those nerve roots come out of that low back, this is actually getting that nerve to starting to glide, which will help decrease pain. Now, if you can't kick all the way up at first with this, just go to like a quarter of a kick or a half a kick. I just want you to do it in a pain-free range of motion. Perfect. Thank you. So if you guys are experiencing low back pain, sciatica type pain, always give us a call at that number below. Try these exercises at home. See how you feel. Leave a comment. Let us know how you're doing with them or if you have any questions. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that notification bell, like, follow the page, Facebook, Instagram, like and follow, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.